Good morning Green Group and welcome to your Friday's Maths lesson. Please record the date and the learning objective. We're going to recap on comparing lengths today. Record them in your book and underline them neatly. Then do your flashback for in your book. Pause the video so you can, con you can do those questions. Let's have a look at how you did. Number one. 100 centimetres is equal to 1 metre. We will need that fact today. Number two, how many more children like red, like yellow than red? So here's red at 2, here's yellow at 9. 9 take away 2 is 7, 7 children. Number three, what is 3 pounds more than 452 pence? That's seven pounds and 52 pence. Number four, what is the value of the five in 200, 325? It's five ones, well done. And the time on the clock is gone past 11 and it's gone five, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes past. So it's 11, 25. Well done if you got those correct. Let's move on to today's learning. Today we're going to be comparing lengths. We've looked at metres, centimetres and millimetres this week. Now we're going to compare them. Let's get ready. Number one, order these measurements from the shortest to the longest. Have a go. Let's see how you did. It should be five millimetres is the shortest then five centimetres and five metres is the longest. Number two, complete these statements. There are how many millimetres in one centimetre? That's right, 10. There are how many centimetres in one metre? That's right as well, 100. We really need to know these facts well, ready for today's learning. You might want to make a note of them somewhere, ready to use. Number three, 85 millimetres is the same as how many centimetres and how many millimetres? Well, there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre. How many tens do we have? We have eight of those. So it's eight centimetres and five millimetres. Well done. Let's move on. True or false? The yellow pencil is longer than the blue pencil. What do you think? Well, we need to line them up like we normally do. We line them up to compare. Is it true or is it false? It's false because, as you can see, they start at the same place and they end at the same place. So they are both the same length. Let's have a look at these toy dinosaurs. Here we've got a Stegosaurus and here we have a T-Rex. How, what could you notice about these dinosaurs? Pause the video now and write down what you notice. Let's see how you did. It starts at zero and it ends at eight and they are centimetres. So the Stegosaurus is eight centimetres long. This one starts here and ends here. So we can start here as if it's zero and count on. One, two, three, four, five centimetres. So the T-Rex is five centimetres long. What else have you noticed? That the Stegosaurus is longer than the T-Rex and therefore the T-Rex must be shorter than the Stegosaurus. We'll need to use language like this today. Let's have a look at the height of each of these creatures. Here we have a Diplodocus and here we have a T-Rex. How tall? is the Diplodocus. How tall is the T-Rex? What is the difference between them? What do you notice? 
Here the Diplodocus is 11 centimetres tall. What about the T-Rex? The T-Rex over here is 5 centimetres tall. You should have noticed that this is taller and you should have noticed that this is shorter. Well done if you spotted that. Here in these questions we're going to use our symbols less than, greater than or equal to to compare these, these calculations. On this side we have 10 centimetres and this side we have 10 millimetres. Which sign do we need? Have a think. Let's use a ruler to help us compare. This is a centimetre ruler. Let's mark on the 10 centimetres. There it is. And we know that 10 millimetres is actually the same as one centimetre. Each one of these little marks is a millimetre. So this is where 10 gets up to here. Therefore, 10 centimetres is greater than 10 millimetres. So we need the greater than symbol in here. 20 millimetres, where would that be on my ruler? Well, we know that this at 1 centimetre is 10 millimetres. So 20 millimetres is another 10 millimetres. So that's here. And 2 centimetres is in the same place. So they are equal to each other. Have a look at this one. 50 millimetres add 20 millimetres. What does that make? That makes 70 millimetres. And that's there. Where would I put 10 centimetres? That's there. So is this bigger or smaller? It's smaller, so we need the less than symbol in here. Well done if you work that out. You can see to do questions like this today, your ruler is really useful to help you work it out. Let's move on. We're going to add measurements to compare, complete these comparisons. So we're going to fill in these gaps. On each side we've got centimetres and we're comparing it to one metre. Here we need equal to a metre. Here we need less than a metre. And here we need greater than a metre. Pause the video and have a think. What numbers could go in those gaps? For two of those answers, it could have more than one possibility. Shall we check how you did? First of all, one metre is the same as 100 centimetres. That was one of our key facts from the beginning. Do you remember? For this one, I need centimetres that's less than one metre. What could it be? Well, any number that's less than 100. For example, 99, 98, 97, all the way down to zero. What about for this one? We want greater than a metre, so it must be more than 100. Therefore, any number that's more than 100. For example, 101, 102, and you could go up to absolutely any number that's higher. I wonder which ones you came up with. Well done if your idea would fit those gaps. Let's have a look at this question. How tall could the Stegosaurus, this is the Stegosaurus, how tall could it be? Well, the Diplodocus is 11 centimetres tall and we know that the T-Rex is 5 centimetres tall. So what numbers could go between? Let's have a think. What numbers can go between 11 and 5? Pause the video and have a think. Can you find all the possibilities? Let's see how you did. We could have 10, 9, 8, 7 or 6 centimetres as being between 11 and 5. Well done if you spotted that. 
Your turn, please, to have a go at questions one to six on the worksheet. Here is what I'd like you to do in your book. You're going to record it all in your book neatly like this. So I'd like you to pause the video here, please, to use this example page of how to lay it out neatly in your book. I want you to go all the way up to question six on the worksheet. And then when you have finished that, come back to me and press play again. Let's continue with the next section of your learning. A red block is twice the height of a blue block. Can you see two blue blocks fit into the same space? How tall would one blue block be? If a red block is six, what's half of that? Let's have a look at the rest of the question. Dexter builds a tower. Here's Dexter. Let's have a look at the tower he builds. He's used one red brick. Look how tall that is. He's used one blue. How much was that? And another blue. How much is that? And another blue. How much was that? We want to know what is the height of the tower from here to get to the top here. Pause the video and see if you could work it out. Shall we see how you did? So we know that the red brick is six centimetres tall. Let's mark that on. And we know that a blue brick is half of that height. What is half of six? That's right, it's three. So this blue block is three. What is this blue block? It's also three. And this blue block? It is also three. Can you see how the picture and labelling it has made it easy to see the maths we need to do? So we need to do six centimetres, add three centimetres, add three centimetres, add three centimetres. Let's record that. And then we add them up and we get 15 centimetres altogether. So the height of the tower is 15 centimetres. I'd like you now to have a go at the last question on the worksheet. And I'd like you please to lay it out in your book like this, remembering to read carefully. One large cube is three times as long as one small cube. One small cube is five centimetres long. So this one is five, this one is five, and this one is five. Think, how long would two small cubes be? How long would ten small cubes be? How long would one large cube be if it's three small cubes long? And how long would two of these large cubes be? Stick in your work and record your answers and do any calculating in the squares at the side. When you've done that, here are your additional challenges. Looking back and thinking back to the question we did earlier, compare the measurements using the symbols. Remembering for some of them we might have to add or take away to find the answers first before we compare. On this one, a green pencil is twice as long as a blue pencil. We're going to use that information to compare the statements using longer than, shorter than or equal to. Three of these green pencils are longer than, shorter than or equal to two blue pencils. Then go on to compare the last ones. When you've done that, stick those into your book neatly using the squares and you've completed your challenges. Well done for all your work this week and I'll look forward to seeing you again for your new learning on Monday. Don't forget to come today to collect your pack with your new learning in. Goodbye.